Welcome to my channel. Here you can get update and tips on how to carry out software development using TIA Portal. Please do like and subscribe to get latest updates. Today I will be showing how to implement a Modbus TCP communication from scratch on TIA Portal v17 using the MB client block. This video can be of guide to you when you have a list of Modbus addresses you need to read from a Modbus server or write to a Modbus server with TIA Portal. Here I have a list of addresses I need to read from a remote system that will be communicating to the PLC via Modbus TCP IP. As we see this system has 5 temperature sensors and 3 pressure sensors assigned to Modbus addresses. We also have an address the PLC has to write to this remote device. In this case the on and off command. Here I have the Modder SIM2 application which I will be using as the remote system to simulate the Modbus TCP IP communication. This application will show the data transferred and received via the Modbus communication. Say we are given a list of data to be read from a remote system serving as the Modbus server into TIA portal. An example of such data is seen here. Let's proceed to configure this in TIA portal. To run the Modbus communication setup, we will be using the MB client block in TIA portal. I will proceed to create a new project in TIA portal to begin the configuration. To add the MB client block, I click on the instruction tab in the right corner of the TIA portal environment and search for MB client. As we proceed, I will be showing the documentation on how to configure the MB client block. The REQ parameter sends a communication request when it reads true. For the REQ parameter, I will be using a 1 Hz memory bit to trigger a communication request. Via the disconnect parameter, we can establish and terminate the connection to the Modbus server. The Modbus request is sent immediately if the REQ parameter is set. Assigning faults to the disconnect parameter allows establishment of connection, while true disconnects the connection. The MB mode defines what the block should do. Zero means read register from Modbus server and one or two means write to the Modbus server. So we want to read data from the Modbus server, so we assign zero to this parameter. The MB data address parameter defines the category of the address on what is to be read or written. We have the input register, the holding register, and the coil that defines the category of address being used. Now we will consider the address we want to read as defined in the table. The address falls within the input register. In the table, we will identify the starting address in the list, which is 3005. We see that the lowest address is 3005. We can have the MB data address parameter to begin with 3001. Now we need to determine the length of the data we want to read. Note the maximum length for each block is 1 to 125. To determine the length, we will consider the number of addresses we want to read. The lowest address we have is 305, and the highest is 3070. Since the highest address is within the range of 3070, we will assign 70 to the NB data link. Now we need to define the pointer to NB data pointer parameter. To define the pointer, we will be creating a global data block. This addresses will be declared in a struct data type. Note that the data we are reading has the data type word for input registers 301. Here, 
variable 1 is representing address 301. So we will declare the variables up to variable 70. So we can give the name of the variable we want to read into the struct variable we created in the data block. Now we have defined our pointer Modbus data. In order to use it as a pointer, we need to disable the optimized block access of the data block. Now we can see the offset column in the table. Next step is to define the connect parameter. This parameter will contain the MB client configuration which consists the IP address, the hardware identifier, the remote port. We will create a variable with the data type TCON IPv4. I will create this variable in the global DB Modbus data. The interface ID can be obtained by right-clicking the PLC in Project Tree. Selecting Properties in the Properties window, go to System Constants option and locate the local Profinit Interface 1. The ID can have the value of 1. Connection type will have the value of 11. The IP address to be filled in here can be obtained by navigating to the network and internet settings as shown by the arrow, and then accessing the PLCC network adapter IPv4 address settings. Here I am adding a static IP in the IP address which will be in same subnet as the PLC. I will now fill in the IP address in the MB client configuration. The remote port will be 502 in this case. As we see, I now have all the connections to the MB client block parameters. I will proceed to test the MB client block with the configuration we have. Note, to simulate the MB client in TIA version 17, we will need to make use of the PLC SIEM Advanced Simulator, and I will have to switch the online access from PLC SIEM to PLC SIEM Virtual Ether Adapter. Now I have to assign the IP address of the CPU. Now I can download the program to the PLC instance. We have some safety block errors, so we disable safety as we do not need it. Also, we need to enable simulation for the PLC I didn't enable the clock memory bit, so we will need to enable clock memory bits to allow the clock memory to be active during simulation.
The tag is colored yellow because we have declared it twice. We would need to delete the previous one Now I have the REQ parameter being triggered and will launch the mod R sim application and select the right address I will be working with. I will be testing the result of the configuration by writing from the mod R sim application which is representing the Modbus server to the data block containing the list of structs variables which are mapped to the Modbus addresses. Here I have written to variable number 6, which is representing index 5 in the mod R scene application. As we see that the configuration works successfully and we are able to obtain the data from the Modbus server in TIA portal, I will write again to variable 1 and also to temperature 5 variable. In the second part of this video, I will be configuring the second MB client to read and also the MB client block to write from the PLC to the Modbus server application. And I be showing common errors that can occur while carrying out this configuration and how to avoid them. Here is a quick demo to the second part. The link to the second part can be found in the description below. Please do like and subscribe and do kindly leave a comment behind as you find this video helpful. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you and good success.